Thank you, Dave. The sheer thrill of motorcycling, but it has to be safe as well. But that's very difficult if you have to look down at your gauges to make sure your speed is correct and you've got enough fuel. But what if you had that information and more in a head-up display within your helmet, which will allow you to do your looks and your safety looks without any problem at all? There's a number of different ways and styles on riding motorcycles. And although the system can be configured in many different ways, um, out of the box we have three standard configurations. One, the first one, which we call standard, which is typically what you would use if you were going out in a Sunday morning ride, um, compared to something if you were commuting or touring, which is the next configuration. And then the third one is track days, and track days work very, very different. Uh, you can set up your configuration so you can track your lap times um, and sectors. And you get the information in real time far more effectively than even somebody working in a MotoGP race team. All that information is, is right there in front of you. We believe um, heads-up display units uh, like Bike Hood are potentially uh, making motorcycling a lot safer. And that's primarily because we're encouraging the rider to look up. Not only look up, look, but look much further ahead than ordinarily would ride. Typically, most motorcyclists have just two seconds um, in terms of collision avoidance in the event of a potential accident. By looking ahead, they have a much greater opportunity to anticipate and even avoid that potential accident long before it would ever happen. So, the motorbike helmet has a small display box fitted using this universal mount and it sits just inside the driver's field of peripheral vision so that the image is projected over their vision as they're moving down the highway. There's a lens here which is very compact with a short focal length which projects the data that the driver uh, might need to see such as their speed and their rev count and their gear. It projects it into their vision and for the, the rider it appears as though that's overlaid on what they're seeing. Okay, so when we came to, to do this design, the main thing that we got across from Dave was the importance of a, a very flexible design. So for that reason, we decided to base the system on a, a Windows CE based microprocessor system, which is on this printed circuit board. This sits underneath the seat and is wired into the RPM of the motorbike and also signals such as the indicators, the bike stand, and most importantly, it gets power from the motorbike. There's a high speed serial link from that, which is cabled up to the motorbike helmet. And there's also a cable that runs up to this box here, which has a GPS built in it. And the GPS is, is crucial because from the GPS, we get the speed information, which is the uh, main data that the uh, cyclist sees. There's also buttons on this, this box which allow the rider to configure the display, to change settings, to change modes. We know that since the introduction of Google Glass there is a great deal of consumer and investor interest in head-up display units and no doubt in the next few months and years we're going to see other implementations of head-up displays. Thank <laughs> you.